and welcome to the Stopcox channel. We've got tutorial videos, introductory videos to our plumbers and all sorts of other things. Please scroll through them and enjoy them. In the beginning I carried everything with me. Now, 20 years later, I've whittled that down to one toolbox. And this is it. I'm going to just run through with you what every basic toolbox should have in it. First of all, we've got a variety of small spanners like this. These are fantastic for when you're doing um, boiler repairs, uh, small appliance repairs. Uh, the most common sizes are 8, 10, 11 and 13. For any size in between that I've got in my toolbox adjustable spanners. I have a small one here, I have a medium sized and I've got a large one. Between these three we should be able to cover everything. For gripping I have these pump pliers or swan necks as I like to call them, so called because they have a long neck here which is adjustable. These ones in particular are very good for doing basin uh, traps and bath traps. I've also got a larger one these are very good for doing the nut underneath if you're doing a toilet and you're putting the siphon on. They are also very good for central heating pumps, so called pump pliers. If you want some grip so that you can actually work with two hands and have something still gripping, I also have with me mole grips. Again adjustable and they stay closed. For cutting pipes, I have a variety of pipe cutters. I've got a very small one like this. This is actually my favourite one, if you can see it there against me. I've also got one for tight corners. This one opens up. And it has this, which acts as a lever to turn, in case you can't actually get your hand there. Very good. These come in 15 and 22 mil. I've got the 22 pipe splice. And I've got this adjustable one all the way up to 28 mil and it also is great because it has a deburrer at the end there. For cutting plastic pipes I've got this one. This is very good for cutting your um, barrier pipe 15 or 22 mil, hep 2 polyplum or even your three quarter inch overflow pipe. I also have long nose pliers, ordinary pliers and cable snips, very useful for when you're doing showers, um, when you drop things, very, very useful indeed for helping you to locate screws and nuts. I always carry with me also some, a variety of box spanners. These are particularly good for doing monoblock taps, sink taps, basin taps, where you can't really get in and you can put those underneath. Got three of those. Every plumber's toolbox must have a radiator spanner. This has the square end and the hexagonal end and even the slotted bit at the end. A Stanley knife. This is an Irwin but you know what I mean. Stanley knife, spare blades. Also always carry a hacksaw, a junior hacksaw with some spare blades. Outside of my toolbox I also carry a large hacksaw for things like soil pipe, that kind of thing. A variety of radiator keys. There's a brass one there and one another one there. And I also carry with me always my gas meter box um, key. Uh, also you have your electricity meters sometimes outside in a box so you always need to be able to get into those. So I also have a variety of screwdrivers. Again, I don't have loads and loads. I only have three or four that I always, always use. I've got a pair of stubby, which is short, so I'm getting into tight places. I've got a medium size and a standard sized flat headed. I've got a um, electrical screwdriver, which can tell me if something is live or not. I've got two cross headed screwdrivers, a, sm a slim one and a standard one. 
outside of my toolbox I also carry two long handled uh, screwdrivers a flat headed one and a cross headed one pencils, variety of pencils and a marker I like to mark um, label pipework that helps me that. I carry with me also for marking pipework insulating tape, blue and red flow and return hot and cold as well as a roll of PTFE tape a bolster chisel for taking up floorboards and a small stone chisel for doing some stonework outside. I also always have a soldering mat, a soldering mat so that you don't damage the floor uh, skirting boards or wallpaper. A brush for applying flux. Trusty tape measure. In the back of the van I always carry with me also pipe benders, don't forget the formers, the pipe benders are no good without the former. A hammer, a claw hammer. A variety of sizes of spirit levels, small one, getting into small places, a larger one and when I'm doing larger works I've got an even larger one than this. I've also always got my blowtorch. As for power tools, if you're going to carry one power tool, carry one of these. It's a screwdriver, hammer, drill, a variety of drill bits. For masonry I would carry 6, 8 and 10 mil, same for wood, and for metal I would carry definitely a 3 mil, at least um, if a 3 or and a 6 mil. This is fantastic, it has two batteries, one of them is always on charge. And lastly, just to make sure that you're comfortable when you're kneeling on the floor, is a fantastic knee pad. You can also get knee pads which are attached to your, to your knees directly. I've managed to work for 20 years with just these basic tools. They're not expensive, you can start collecting them straight away.